A landmark EU Canada free trade deal called CETA has hit a serious snag after a Belgian region rejected it, threatening the signing this month. Parliament in French speaking Wallonia voted to prevent Belgium's government from signing the draft deal. EU trade ministers are to decide on CETA next Tuesday. If they all approve it, the deal can be signed with Canada on October 27. CETA is the EU's most ambitious trade deal to date, lifting most barriers. Walloon leader Paul Magnet said he would not give the full powers to the federal government to back the deal. The EU has agreed that parts of CETA will be implemented before all national parliaments have voted on it. Opponents fear that CETA will be used as a model to push through an even more controversial EU-US trade deal, called TTIP, much of which remains to be negotiated. The activists argue that CETA and similar deals put job security and social welfare at risk, in a global race to the bottom that serves the interests of a wealthy elite. A Canadian government trade spokesman, Alex Lawrence, told the BBC that CETA remains a top priority for Canada and we are still working with our partners in Europe to conclude this agreement. This is a progressive deal. If Europe is unable to sign a progressive trade deal with a country like Canada, this will send a clear and unfortunate signal, he said. Canadian envoy Pierre Pettigrew will meet Mr. Magnet later on Friday, he said. We are working hard with our European partners so CETA can be signed this fall and implemented next year. Some British politicians see CETA as a good basis for a post-Brexit UK trade deal with the EU. The UK can vote for CETA while it remains a full EU member. CETA does not involve EU-style free movement of labour. But for services, 80% of the UK economy, the CETA terms are less favourable than those they have now.